Okay, well, good morning, everybody. Ah, uh, well, was uh, browsing the uh, Final Fantasy XIV forums here, and I have done a, I have done other videos on this very same topic. Uh, but it's I seem to be a real sucker for this. This is this here is a major sore spot for me when it comes to tanking. So I thought I'd just go ahead and uh, address the subject here. So. This is basically going to be a repeat, but like I said, I don't get these very often, so whenever I see them, I jump on them. First chance I get. Uh, but basically, the subject is about the unwritten rule for non-tank pulls and dungeons, and my answer on that is a big fat no. You don't pull for the tank, period. I mean, I'm one of those, I would rather you just call me a, call me a shitty tank. Tell me to go delete my account and kill myself, and then have me promptly kicked afterwards. You know, then then for you to pull for me. That it's it is a big time zero tolerance issue with me. You pull, chances are gonna be pretty good. I'm just gonna leave immediately. But um, what I'll go ahead and do, like I always do, I'll just look at everybody else's posts and comment on them. But like always. I'm not trying to call anybody out or make fun of them or anything like that. It's just I can get a lot of inspiration from watching their, from reading other people's posts. So here it goes. Discussion with SC Maitsu. Yes, there is. I mean, if I, want, if I didn't want to do the pulls and the dungeons, I wouldn't have queued as a tank. I'd have queued as a healer, a DPSer. And it's also a courtesy issue, too. This is especially true if the tank's never done it before. Pulling for is not going to help him learn. I mean, not tanking is not going to make him a better tank. So that's why you got to sit back and let him do it. Now, if he really is being like, if he's being that bad, which I've had a few of them, um, then, then tell them. Tell them, you know, pick it up, tell them, start using AOE, etc., and so on and so forth. But don't pull for them. That short circuits that learning process. So. My main and SP was paladin before going blah, blah, blah. And now I some pulled wall to wall, or at least until I got gated out, then, um. And then I, I can also say, as a healer, I'm not a fan of that either. Especially if they don't tell you beforehand, or if I, if I have, if I'm new to a certain healer, or if I haven't healed in a very long time, and I state that at the start of a dungeon run, and I get ignored, and they just, they go pull big anyway, and then, I'm still trying to find what button does what, and the tank winds up dead, and we causes a wipe. So that, so all I can say is that I don't like it when tanks, tanks go boss to boss. I mean, on the it's not, it's not like the run is going to be super slow or anything, because then that just gives me a chance to do some DPS in myself. So it's not, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Gunbreaker coming soon. I think that there will be a lot of newer and comfortable with huge pulls. This is what I said a few moments ago. If he's new, you got to help him out. I mean, especially, I mean, especially if people, if this is especially true at the start of an expansion, if there's such a thing as a tank drought, I mean, being, I mean, critiquing and judging tank, judging tanks isn't going to help. I mean, I, I, I want to get some new tanks in there, man. You know, because I get burnt out on tank. I mean, I get burnt out on it myself. You know, it really drains me after a while being the point man. So it wears, wears me down a lot. So, I mean, it'd be kind of nice to have another tank to come in and take over for me so I can get some rest. Especially, too, if you were to run raids or something. You know, basically, I can't tank forever. So it's always nice having new recruits and fresh blood coming in there to do some tanking for me. But... If they're being, if they're being scared out of their position, if they're being treated like crap, being treated like mere figureheads, then that's not going to happen. So, 
Which is just what I said a few moments ago. Only the tank pulls. They know what their comfort is and they can, you know, can want to handle larger pulls. That's exactly what I was saying. Um, uh, I'm going to say no on that. Now, again, if you need, first and foremost, you need to talk to the tank. You, if you're just being totally silent, not saying a word, and you're still getting mad that the tank's pulling slow, tell them. Otherwise, that's your fault. You, you got to, I mean, I got a keyboard. You know, maybe controller player, controller, or... PS4 players might have a harder time of it, harder time of it, but I, I got a keyboard. And I'm, you check there, you might have one too. Type, type down, tank, it's okay to pull faster. We all carry these by, we all carry these by a hundred eye levels and I've been rating since 1.0 or some shit. You know, say something like that, just pull big, we can handle it. You know, but until then, it, it, otherwise, if you don't say that, and the tank continues to go slow, that's your fault, not his. And again, I've said before, absolutely not. If this, this, yeah, but this is me, this is me right here. I'm not talking about tanks who can go past with flat refuse. I am at the start of a at the start of a dungeon. Typically, I look at the group. If the group is like horribly undergeared or something, I ain't doing it. Especially the healer. I mean, if if I'm running a level 68 dungeon and the healer is in like like level 60 store bought gear, I ain't doing that. If they get mad, start uh tell me to pull big. I'll refer them to the healer. So, but this here, absolutely not. You don't pull for him. Period. End of sentence. Um, you can you can do damn it. Oh, phone ringing. Um, I'll leave a voicemail. But like like I like I was saying, if the tank the tank needs to learn how to tank. But if you're taking that job away from him, he doesn't get that opportunity, so. But, but I'll go ahead and continue. Tank is the only person who should be pulling, should talk to them about it. Since he might be knowing comfortable with it for some reason, this is exactly what I was saying a little while ago. You gotta talk to the tank. Is it really that big of a deal to spend an extra three minutes in an instance rather than five to ten minutes? This is something else, too. If, in, I mean, unless the tank is just absolutely being stone cold dead, just standing there doing nothing for 30, 60 seconds, it, it's not worth complaining about. You know, if you're, by the time, you, I mean, if stuff's dying, if you're still moving, you're still moving throughout the dungeon. It's not really worth complaining about. Yup. Shut up and take my like. I'm like this as well. If I notice that a DPS is taking an awful lot of damage... And if I'm spending as much time, if not more time, healing him than I am the tank, then that's an issue. There have been times where I won't try to completely let the guy die, but I'll try to get him as close to low health as possible. Kind of give him a subtle warning. Hey, buddy, you're kind of pushing it. Let the tank get aggro. You know, but they still do it. You're on your own, buddy. Plop. I'll just go full Eureka on your ass. I'll just let you die, and then I'll just res you afterwards. Uh, 
Same thing here, he's getting a like. This is why, as a healer, actually, hang on, let me think about that a second. Actually, yeah, um, overall, I would rather attend, if I'm healing, just go one at a time. That gives me a chance to DPS, and there's less risk. But yeah, by default, by default, as a tank, I go pretty slow too, one at a time. Unless I see that the group grossly outgears it, or if they're on like 390, 400 gear or something, then I'm taking it easy. Um, as a tank myself, I've done this as well. If, um, if I got a, if I, it's especially true if I actually am pulling big. I got all these monsters just right in front of me. If one of them runs off to that DPSer, you're on your own. Because in order for me to chase that guy down and bring him back to me, that means I got to move this whole entire group. I got to move over here. And then all these other monsters are going to go with me. And that's just going to throw things off for any other DPSers that are in there. So if I got everything just perfect, you're on your own. So I can't. I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna risk moving nine monsters just to pick up one, so. This is another thing. Something like this, um, if you're up, if you, if, if it can be shown, that you actually are refusing and being a total snob about it. But like I said, like I said, if I mean, if I got a group of monsters right in front of me, just perfect, you're pulling one of them. I can't afford. I don't. I can't afford to just up and leave. Oh, nice job, Joe. Uh, let me check and see if I still have a mic. I got happy hands right now. Okay, mic still works. Okay, dust. Off. I got a dirty apartment. I'm basically a Quentin Crisp disciple. But yeah, like a, if he, if um, I mean, if it if it could be shown. That somebody, somebody accidentally pulled a group on accident, and you don't pick them up, then yeah, that's an issue. I mean, because at the same time, especially if I'm healing or DPSing, if I got a, if I got a tank that's not doing that, or if he's just flat out, that's your fault, not mine, or something like that. It, it. Long, long story short, if the tank's being a snob, then yeah, kick him. But again, not. I mean, not everybody pulls ads off you because they're being douchebags or just trying to piss you off. I mean, some of them are just doing it on accident. So, it kind of goes along with what this guy was saying. But again, in, in that situation, if if, there's, if he pulls aggro off and someone's attacking him, and if it's going to be too much trouble to go out of a way to pick him up, he's on his own. Aside from that, if all it took, if, if that extra guy was in range, and it's not going to upset things too much, then yeah, I'll, I'll throw a tomahawk at him and bring him back to me. But I can't, I can't go too far out of my way for something like that. And he pretty much said what I said too. Overall, if stuff's dying, you guys are fine. It, what, regardless of whether or not you're pulling big or not, you shouldn't be complaining much. You must have got, must be one of those that's never had a bad group. I mean, I get, 
I mean, I'm pretty much healing like crazy when I get it, when I get a tank that pulls wall to wall. I mean, and that's even with them using cooldowns. I can't get a DPS in for shit. I mean, especially as a scholar, I'd be lucky to maybe get a vial, the other one, I don't know the name of it, Miasma, and then, and then Bane. By the time I actually get those three off, I'm having to go right on over to healing the tank up. You know, I'm not, and then um, if the tank isn't using cooldowns, I'm full-time healing. I mean, you know, to be fair, not all of them are like, poles are like that, but a good chunk of them are, so. And then, yes, statistically, yes. You're getting, you're getting more out of your MP slash MP if you're, if the tank's pulling huge. But, again, if the tank dies and it results in a wipe, it, it was just a waste of effort. talking to the tank no you let without helping like on that one uh again again that it, it all it depends it depends on the group It's all. It's also one of the reasons why I don't. Why I don't do the end game dungeons. It's just more. The I level sync on the uh, end game dungeons are too generous. That leaves the potential for more jackassery. It's, it's just like the. Just like the World of Warcraft dungeons. Same thing there. They have no eye level sync at all. So you can easily outgear the stuff by uh, as much as a hundred eye levels, and it, for the most part, that pretty much carries over through all the dungeons from level fifteen. All the way up to level 150 or whatever the level cap is over there these days. I mean, so all the dude, I mean, all the douchebaggery they do at the level 15s just carries over all the way through the end game. At least in this game here, you can't really do that in the leveling dungeons. You can do it all you want in the end game ones, though. Now, what I'm on. Now, um, if I'm if I'm playing solo, like if I'm running a dungeon unsynced, then yeah, I'll I'll go wall I'll go boss to boss, but because it's only me, it's only me in there, and I I trust myself more than I do other people. Or if I'm running in an FC group where we all know and trust each other, then yeah, I'll I'll go boss to boss. But if we're uh. If we're running a random, total strangers, I don't know you. For all I know, you could be a quadriplegic in that trying to play the game through a straw that can't really do much. You might be totally disabled, but I'm not a mind reader. I don't know you. So, by default, I'd rather err on the side of caution. So, but otherwise, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you can kill everything in one or two hits, why not? But, again, if I'm running with strangers, mm-mm. -mm. Nailed it. I'm not I'm not the fastest at healing either, so I just as soon as him go one at a time, so at least I'll at least I too can DPS. This is me. Healing is not my favorite role. I'm not a natural at it. Um, I'm 
not bad at tanking. It's my favorite role, but I do like to take off. But I, I do often run with total strangers. So again, I would, I'd rather just play it safe. And oh, and uh, for the few times that I actually did ask, am I pulling big or pulling small? I either get total silence or I get it's up to you. So I don't even bother saying anything anymore. And this one either. This one too. Chances are I might be totally new to that dungeon. I'm not going crazy. Uh, and the fact that more often than not, people grossly outgear them. Endgame dungeons are basically a bunch of Camp West ones now. Not pulling out that it caused me to have to heal multiple when I could be DPSing. Um, and I kind of, I kind of agree with this as well. You're the old, the old saying: you pull it, you tank it. Does it really apply to in-game dungeons? Again, everybody grossly all gears it. They could practically solve the dungeons if they want. You say that, they most likely can tank. So, might as well just pull them off. And this is also one of the reasons why I don't, I don't tank the in-game dungeons. A lot more healthy that way. Okay, um, the second page here. Uh, pro they're probably just going to be rehashing to the first page. So I probably won't be on this one very long. I've seen people and uh, I've heard people in WoW do this too. Brand spanking Doom Dungeon they've never been to. They still pull big. Uh, they, what I understand of that, it, it's hit and miss. They still do it anyway, so. Uh, as far as trash goes, maybe. As far as bosses, if you don't know the mechanics, I mean, there's been times, uh, there's been times we've wiped because, uh, it's, you know, it's people's first time there, they don't know what to do, so. <laughs> and this kind of goes back to what I was saying a long time ago, too. Thing a long time ago. Uh, when running randoms, I don't know who you are. For all I know, you can be bipolar with anxiety, depression, and PTSD. But again, I'm not a mind reader. So, I've said it before, I would just as soon as err on the side of caution. done this but again don't don't go too crazy on it I'll let him there's been times where I'll sit there and let a let a monster beat on a healer for um you know just till he starts using all of his mana to keep himself healed up uh, but after that I generally just drop group I'm not even gonna argue Uh, this don't work. It never worked in WoW, and it didn't work here. In WoW, 
you have to be in a dungeon for at least 15 minutes in order for you to requeue for another one here if you drop for basically any reason at all that wasn't a vote abandon you're gonna get stuck with a 30 minute debuff so I don't you can't I don't know where people get off on saying that because uh, whenever I drop I either gotta wait 30 minutes or if I'm playing WoW I have to wait out the remainder of the 15 minutes so it's not an I can't just cube into a dungeon immediately after dropping off from a, from another It looks like what it's going to turn into here is just a bunch of back and forth. I don't get what she means. And uh, you must have a tank that knows what he's doing. Like I said, there's, there's been time. I mean, with me, it's a mixed bag. Yeah, I've, I've seen tanks that pull big, but use cooldowns. But I've also seen the inverse, or I've also seen the flip side. I've seen tanks pull big, but not use a damn thing. I'm basically full time healing the guy, popping all my CDs to keep him alive. So it, it sounds to me like, it sounds like the kind of person that's never ever been in a bad group. can DPS like crazy too. My resources drop pretty quick. That uh Broil 2 ability isn't exactly cheap. Just reading this. Stop and go. Um. Oh, there's a certain way I want to explain this. I mean, overall, it doesn't matter. I mean, it pretty, she pretty much is speaking the truth. But, um... I mean, if you're getting very little very little breaks in between pulls... I mean, I've, I've done this before, too. I mean, I don't use much mana. The tank's not taking much damage. Nobody else is taking much damage. I mean, there's not much damage going out. So, I can spend more time doing DPS. But, I mean... My man is pretty much getting its more spent just doing DPS and healing. Whereas the tank pulls big, I'm just going to be spending more of that MP on healing than DPS. So it kind of balances out. Um, I think there's a there, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a bodybuilding aspect to it. Uh, for the longest time, uh, the old I think the old the old train of thought was the only way to build muscle was training to failure. The only way to train to failure, or for failure, for those that don't know, it's when you get to a point when you're lifting that you, you can't you can't raise that weight up anymore. That's failure. I think it used to be the only way the only way to achieve failure is by doing high intensity training. If you go 
like between six to ten reps. If you go, if you knock down that weight any lower, you're basically doing aerobics. But um, I think the more modern train of thought is uh, either way it works as long as you're achieving failure. I mean, it, it's pretty much. I mean, doing just ten reps of some arbitrary weight, an arbitrary number. You do ten reps, and if your muscles don't feel the strain, you're not building muscle. Failure, or at least close to it, it has to be the standard. But it don't matter whether you do do it in six reps or you do it in six hundred. You know, as long as you're, as long as failure is achieved or close to it, A.K.A. leaving one in the tank, which is how I prefer to do it, because you know I still work at a job where I do a fair amount of lifting, so don't want to overdo it. So, but e but either way, as long as you're achieving failure. It don't matter. I'm seeing the same thing here with what, with what she's talking about. The MP is going to get spent somewhere. So this to me doesn't really matter much. Either you're going to be spending that MP killing the tank because he's pulling big, or you're going to be spending a lot of that MP, MP doing the DPS because he's only pulling one, one group at a time. It's going to go somewhere. Did I miss something? Oh, okay. Right here that I really have experience covering. I was talking about in general duty. Okay, I just I missed that part. Yep. It just goes back to what I said. And I, and I, yes, I do remember now. Um, I only played a white mage just to get it to 70, but yeah, it, holy, holy, eats up a metric ton of MP. It also goes back to what I said he, earlier. It's, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Tank pulls small, I'll just DPS more. The MP is just going to be being spent on stuff like holy. Or the tank can pull huge and I'll be spending most of my time healing him, especially if he's not using cooldowns. And I forgot to mention, especially if the DPSers don't know what the hell they're doing, that just means they're going to be spending even more MP on our healing. So it's going to go somewhere. But um, but it looks like this is gonna be a lot of back and forth, and plus uh, I still have to hop in the shower yet. I still gotta, I'm still planning on streaming tonight, and I have to work tonight as well. So I gotta lay down, I gotta get some sleep. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, and it, it's all gonna look like it's a bunch of rehashings, some uh, going back and forth, and chances are I might end up having to, I might end up having to delete this damn video because. I totally forgot my webcam's in the upper right corner. So, screwed it up. Well, I'll, I'll review this afterwards, but... Anyway, I gotta go. Uh, thanks for watching, and see y'all next time.